Okay, guys, so several people that are new to fanfiction.net have um, asked me how to access the, um, how, how to create a new story. So therefore, I thought that I would make a tutorial and give you a step-by-step -step on how to do that. All right, so first you're going to click, like, when you create an account, you should have um, this up here. See this, this, uh, this, um, this username up here. Rosie 2009, see, in my case, I mean. So you're going to click that, and it's going to pull you up on this, um, probably up here in this uh, settings thing, up in, under accounts. So basically, you're going to go on the side and uh, to to um, keep from showing personal information. I'm not going to show you that exact place. So you're going to have account, and it's going to go settings, and um, when you're under that, which is what you're going to automatically come under when you click Rosie 2009, or your username, I mean. And, uh, but then you're going to go to this drop down, drop down menu on the side and you're going to go publish and then you're going to click doc manager, which is what I have pulled up right here. And as you can see, I mean, in my case, I have a lot, 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 long, 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 long line of stories, uh, long line of files that I've uploaded for stories. So, um, what you're going to do is that in the instance that you are working with a Word document, you're going to click choose file and, um, give me just a second. You're going to, uh, but you would click choose file and uh, you would access uh, your Word document in the file that you're after and upload it as you would any online document. You know, like if you're an um, online school, for example, you probably have a lot of experience with this. Um, so therefore, you would just upload the document and, you know, you'd label it as what you want. So like, see right here, you have free space, paint it pink, you know, all of my, you know, stories, you would label it what you want to call it and you'd click submit document. Now, in the case that you're copying and pasting something, now you would um, you would take your your text from somewhere, and let me go over here to Tumblr real quick. So, um, just just looking it up real fast. Well, um, let me type in one of my one shots. Like, uh, so you go like maybe maybe um, paint it pink. Let's do that. That's the one on my mind right now since I just saw it. All right. So you see that I have paint it pink down here. Now you're gonna go and you're gonna take and you're going to um, Go and copy this whole text, and good grief, that's a long one shot. So you roll around here, and you get down there at the bottom, and you click copy. All right, now you're going to go back over here, and you're going to click copy and paste, right? All right, so see, you got your whole document right through here, so that's cool. Now you're going to label it and uh, paint it. Pink is my label, uh, but I'm going to do two because I've already got this label up here somewhere up in this stuff, so I'm going to just label it again. You know, paint and pink. We're going to do it too, so I can show you guys. i um, going to submit the document. My internet is horrendously slow. It is, you know, shameful almost. So uh, you're just going to have to give it a sec, I guess, because it's just as slow as a turtle. It really is. Mm. Of course, it probably might take a while because it's a rather large file. So maybe. Um, Maybe I'll uh, crop piece a piece of it to uh, to uh, help the speed. Well, okay, we're unable to authenticate your request. Well, that's fun. <laughs> so, um, what, all right, let's try it again. All right, we're gonna go paint it pink too. Or well, actually, we'll check up here and make sure it didn't accidentally. Uh, you know, like maybe. Oh yeah, I did it. See, paint it pink too. It's got twenty one thousand six hundred seventy two words. Which is not how many I originally published it with, so therefore that means it glitched. But uh, hopefully, in you guys' case, you won't be uploading such a large uh, work. And maybe in your case, you have better internet. I mean, you know, that's that's always a possibility. But um, and so uh, you would go to, you would then go to uh, new stories, new story, and you would select category. And in my case, I'm doing Descendants Fix. So you're going to look and you're going to go down through here. You're going to click movies and you would um, scroll through this down here. You go da 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 da. Descendants. We're going to find that December boys deception. Descendants. Where is that? Okay, Descendants 2015. All right. So you click that because that's definitely what we're after. At least in this case, crossover is totally a different subject. We'll get into that later. But right now we're going to do a Descendants 2015 just for our simple thing. So you click, select your cover image. What you want for that, you know, like in my case, it's like, you know, I have a lot of um, covers that could be used, like, um, scroll through here. Um, in this case, we'll just, um, we'll go with the back one. We'll, um, 
we'll go with Edie. We'll go with Edie as my profile. Uh, you know, it's a, a previous profile picture I have, and it's an image I uploaded. But you would have to go into Image Manager for that. But that's, you know, to, to have an image to upload. But all right. So what you do is you go Paint and Paint Two. You would type in your summary. Um, everybody has uh, this for, just for simplicity's sake. We're not going to say everybody. Uh, the gang has has a paintball fight. Okay, you're going to do something like that, and you're going to, uh, and you might even add in, like, the tags and stuff like that. You might like, a, like, you know, like, for me, I have Jay and Audrey content in there. You would have a Harry and Uma content, you know, Ben and Mal content. Um, and, um, uh, Carlos and Jane content, and, um, uh, and maybe even just familial feels, like I oftentimes do. Um, Familial slash friendship feels. All right, so you're going to do something like that. And keep in mind, you might want to refresh this frequently because it has a tendency, after you take too long on the page, it starts doing this funny thing with the picture and it won't load it up and you can't see what's going on. You have to refresh it and it takes away your summary and everything. So it's really inconvenient. But, you know, just make sure you just kind of refresh that right there, you know, as much as you can. All right, so you're going to scroll through here. You're going to go English, you know, if you're in English, which I'm assuming you are if you're watching this tutorial, it'd be kind of, you know difficult if you weren't I mean just saying I mean no let's see so um, rating would be T and um, well I mean in my case I mean I do T to be safe but you know there's there's a whole bunch of guidelines which you should be, have to encounter when you um, do your new story you, you're going to run into guidelines and you're just going to click that link and you're going to follow it and you're going to click you know, accept at the very very end the typical shindig um, you're going to click complete if, it's, if, if your story is complete. Now, if you're uploading the first chapter of your story, you're going to click in progress. But if it's complete, you're just going to click complete. Now, English is going to be rated T. You're going to go and you're going to, um, in my case, it would be, uh, let's go friendship and humor because, you know, it's a rather interesting story. <laughs> now, you're going to add on your characters. You're going to scroll through this character roster here and you're probably going to put, for my case, it would be Mal. And um, you're going to go Evie. And um, who else do I have? I have Audrey and Uma. And you, you can only put, you can put a, a max of four characters on here, which, I mean, I don't exactly think that's the best thing in the world. I mean, it's like I, I'd love to add bunches of characters like you can on Archive of Our Own. But um, this is a good thing to do here. It's, it's a good, it's, it's good enough, I guess. I guess that's what I'm saying. But anyway, so now you're going to get to the fun part, the part that's, you know, kind of difficult. Let me refresh my, my doohickey here. It might be too late for life. There we go. Now, so you're going to scroll down through here. You're going to go and look for Paint It Pink 2 or whatever your document name is. It shouldn't be hard if you're starting out fresh on this website. It shouldn't be difficult to find it because it should be right there, you know, be the only thing listed. So it shouldn't be that hard to find. But in my case, you know, I mean, I got to scroll through the crap. Oh, come on, man. Where you at? Paint it pink. All right, now two. Okay, so you would go four three six nine, four three. Dang it, six nine. All right, so now when you have all this stuff put together, you know you just read your your uh, thing here and you um, type whatever it says, and um, so you have all this stuff. You have your English language. You have your writing. You have your genres. You can pick. Um, there's a lot of different genres. You can just pick pretty much anything you want. Um, you can click complete. You know, if, if it's complete, you know, in progress, if it's multiple chapters left. All right, you got your movie. You got your uh, movie. Of course, you selected that a minute ago. You've got your characters. You've got your document. You've got your uh, CAPTCHA filled out here. I, I'm hoping I'm saying, right, saying that right. Maybe I am. I don't know. Maybe I'm not. We'll see. <laughs> and you're going to click publish new story. And that should be... Um, let's, um, that should be your, uh, last step there. You should be able to click publish new story. I mean, provided that your internet c connection is not a poop head like mine is. And, um, you just click publish new story and there's your story. And then to view your story after that, it should have a link up there. I believe it has a link. I'm not sure if it doesn't, then I can show you the manual way to get there. I mean, you know, without the, the convenient link here, but it should have a link that tells you something about, see the story details or something. But if you're not doing that, then, you know, you can go over here to manage stories. You can um, scroll down through here and find out what you're looking for, like uh, 
and you can sort it by title, published, updated, that kind of thing. You just click updated or something. My most recent updated is Rural Urbanites. So you're going to click that and you're going to look and see. You can see all the, the, the stats about it and stuff. So it ain't no big, it ain't, it's no biggie. So hopefully that helped. I certainly hope it did. Uh, please let me know in the comments if uh, if that helped you any. If you know if you would like me to do more videos on tutorials like maybe how to work you know Wattpad or Tumblr or something like that. And uh, other than that, you guys have a great day.